Would you like to come paint a strawberry with me on Strathmore canvas using water-based oil paints? I'll be using Velvet Touch brushes and Georgian water mixable oils. For a palette, I like using a piece of glass or acrylic because it's great to mix on and really easy to scrape off and clean after you're done using it. The paints that I'm using today are Georgian Water Mixable Oils by Daler Rowney. I find it helpful to lay out all of my paint on the outside of my palette that, so that I can use the center to mix. I like to set up my palette moving from warm to cool tones. And the canvas that I'm using today has a really lovely gallery wrapped frame with a 1 and 3 8 gallery profile. I like to start out by sketching and underdrawing. It doesn't need to be overly detailed, but I can use this as a guide once I start putting my paint down on the canvas. I'm going to start off by mixing a small amount of yellow and burnt umber to make an ochre color to tone my canvas with. You can see that I'm mixing it with a palette knife to get it nice and smooth and the color that I like on my palette. Once I'm happy with the color, I'm transferring it to a little tub just so it makes it a little bit easier to get it really wet and a nice consistency for covering all of my canvas. I'm getting it nice and watered down so that it's a really thin consistency when I go to begin spreading it on my painting. I'm keeping it really thin because I don't want to cover up that underdrawing. I want to be able to see that after this tone has been put on my canvas. Uh, and I also want it to dry quite a bit faster. For the background of my painting, I'm mixing turquoise and white to get a nice bright vibrant turquoise color and you can see that the paints are really smooth and you can mix them to a nice creamy consistency on your palette. One of the lovely things about painting with oil paints is how well and smooth they go on to your canvas and also how well they blend. You'll notice that my, as I'm spreading this paint onto my underpainting, it's bringing up a little bit of that yellow ochre color, which I'm totally fine with. But if you want your colors to not blend at all, you're gonna make sure that your underpainting or any paint that you're going on top of is fully dry before you start incorporating the next color on top of it. And this will help prevent any blending of colors that you weren't wanting to happen. Next, I'm moving on to my shadow, and you're going to notice with your shadow that it's probably going to be a little bit darker and more intense the closer it is to your object. And something you can notice is that as you move further away from your object, shadows might diffuse a little bit and they might have a little bit more blue in them, kind of like the color that's in my background. You can see here that I'm choosing to soften the edge of that shadow. And that's really easy to do with these oil paints because you can just go back through and softly blend them in together to soften that edge. To begin painting my strawberry, I'm going to start with the lightest tones of the berry and move to the darker tones. You'll notice that the brighter parts of a strawberry are actually quite orange in tone. You can see that I'm using quite a bit of orange here. One of the great things that you're going to have as you begin to blend in some darker colors of reds and move between these tones is how easily they're going to incorporate and blend with one another because these oil paints are so smooth. As I begin working to a gradually darker red in the strawberry, I am going to use a combination of cadmium red and primary magenta to achieve these darker red colors. And as I move into the underside, I can even add a, few, a little bit of cobalt violet, maybe even a hint of black to my red to make it that much darker.
don't be afraid to embrace those darker hues of red. They're going to maybe look wrong to you as you're mixing them because they're so deep and so dark. But once you begin blending them into your other reds, you'll see how natural it looks to be a dark red color on the underside of a bright red strawberry. To get into some of the smaller places and tighter shadows, I'm actually switching to a round brush here. Just has a little bit more of a point and I feel that I can get a little bit more delicate and have a little bit more control with my painting. You can see, um, don't forget the shadows that your uh, leaves are casting onto the berry. That's gonna give much more dimension to your strawberry. And you can see here that I decided to darken that shadow a little bit. I wanted the transition between the berry and the shadow to just be a little bit closer in value. And then I can just smooth it out into the other value of the shadow there. So it's nice and seamless. Moving on to the leaves, I want to capture some of the brightness of the green. So I'm mixing a considerable amount of yellow with the sap green so I can get that bright and vibrant color of green. And then to get the darker tones, I can go in and use sap green mixed with some cobalt blue, as well as maybe a little bit of dark black if I want to enhance the darkness of those colors. One of the most fun parts of painting a strawberry is adding those seeds and you'll notice that they move in a diagonal line across the fruit. You also want to pay attention to the colors of the seeds which will transition from lighter to darker as they get to the underside shadow of the fruit. Next we're going to move on to the reflected light which bounces up off of the table and onto the underside of the berry. You're going to use pinks here even though it seems like they're a brighter highlight but you're going to save the whites for the top part direct light that comes down onto the very top of the berry. You'll notice as you're adding those highlights that they make a diamond shape around the outside of the seed. As you go you can blend this highlight around the edges to soften it a bit. And finally, you can go back in with highlights on your leaves just to give them a little bit of punch and make them stand out a little bit more. I hope you had fun painting a strawberry with me.